The Judo family, welcome to the draw for the Zagreb Grand Prix 2023. I'll begin by introducing the guests that join us today. From the International Judo Federation, Secretary General, Dr. Lisa Allen, Head Sport Director, Mr. Vladimir Barter, and Head Refereeing Director, Mr. Florin Daniel Laskal. From the Croatian Judo Federation, their President, Dr. Sanda Chorak. The State Secretary of Ministry of Tourism and Sport of the Republic of Croatia, Mr. Tomislav Druzak. And the representative of the Mayor of the City of Zagreb, Mr. Milan Cholic. We're also delighted to have with us a special guests, two of Croatia's most successful ever, Jadoka Barbara Matic and Lara Zvietko. Thank you so much for coming. Don't get nervous with the draw. Okay. And now let's hear from the International Judo Federation Secretary General, Dr. Lisa Allen. Thank you, Sheldon. Dear President Chorak, dear State Secretary Druzak, dear Mayoral Representative Mr. Cholic, dear Judo family, on behalf of our President, Mr. Marius Wieser and the International Judo Federation, we welcome you all to the Zagreb Grand Prix 2023. Returning to the beautiful country of Croatia, we expect to have an excellent event as the athletes continue to chase qualification points for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, which take place in less than one year. We thank President Chorak and her team for their preparations and professional collaboration. We are grateful to the IGF sponsors and the local sponsors for their support. During the Grand Prix, as part of the IGF's continuous dedication to clean sport and fair play. We invite everyone to visit the Clean Judo Clean Sport booth in collaboration with the Croatian Anti-Doping Agency in the Arena Zagreb, its Tribune C near the spectator entrance. We also invite the online viewers to visit the Athlete Hub website of our anti-doping partner, the International Testing Agency, for information and to challenge your anti-doping knowledge with WADA's Play True quiz available in 49 different languages. So we wish all of the participants a successful Grand Prix here in Zagreb. Good luck. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Allen. And now from the Croatian Judo Federation, let's hear from the Croatian Judo Federation President, Dr. Sanda Chorak. Good afternoon, uh, Judo friends, uh, IGF colleagues, Dr. Alan, uh, Mr. Barta, Mr. Laskal. Uh, on behalf of Croatian Judo Federation, it is really my pleasure to wish you all welcome to Croatia and welcome to Zagreb Grand Prix. As Dr. Alan mentioned, Olympic Games are approaching really fast and we are glad that uh, this event will give opportunity for many judo athletes to win another ranking points for them. But also uh, our duty as the host is also to contribute to the popularity of judo in our country. So we are also doing some other activities aside. And this time we decided to put together a program for young Judoka, and we are happy that quite a lot of young ones came to Zagreb for this event as well. You uh, may know that the organization of the event with more than 500 Judoka is a complicated task, a challenging task, so I would like also to take this opportunity to thank all who helped uh, us in the organization. Our extended team, of course, uh, our sponsors, uh, uh, everybody who is financially supporting Croatian Judo Federation Ministry of uh, uh, Tourism and Sport, the Croatian Olympic Committee, and City of Zagreb. And of course, uh, all the colleagues and president of International Judo Federation, we are really very glad that Mr. Wieser is always supporting the activities of Croatian Judo Federation. So I wish all the competitors the best of luck on tatami, and please enjoy your stay in Zagreb. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Chorak. Following the IJF sport and organization rules, anti-doping rules and IJF sustainability policy, we will have a safe and successful event. Safety and security are our priority. 
and you have a duty to report any suspected or experienced competition manipulation, abuse, bullying, or harassment. Regarding security, please take care of your own belongings. Credit accreditation cards must always be worn. Go only in the allowed areas and familiarize yourself with the evacuation plan of the hotels and sport hall. Anything that is a threat to safety or security, report it immediately. Information on the competition is on the hotel notice boards and in the event telegram group. The three-day competition takes place in the Zagreb arena. We start day one at 8.30, day two at nine, and day three at 9.30. The final block, which is the medal contests only, is at 5 p.m. The weigh-in will take place before the judogi and back number pre-control. The times for the weigh-in are unofficial 3.30 to 4, and the official weigh-in is 4 to 4.30. It takes place in the Westin Western Hotel, and the women, the women are in the Tuskanac and Zrinjevic rooms, and the men are in the Maximir room. The Judogian back number pre-control continues this evening and tomorrow evening from 10 past 4 to 5.40 p.m. in the West Inn Hotel, and that's in the Zelengai room. That's on G floor. For help, contact the Judogi control staff. The back number sponsors for the event are women in white Judogi <coughs> OTP, men in white Judogi MET, women in blue Judogi HEP, and men in blue Judogi HEP. Here is a video with clarification of the IJF Judogi rules. Thank you very much. And now with information on refereeing matters, let's hear from IJF Head Refereeing Director, Mr. Florin Daniel Lascal. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Rock. The IGF Refereeing Commission prepared a selection of the best world judo referees in order to ensure the quality, the transparency of this event. We wish all the participants the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Laskow. And now to conduct the official and technical aspects of the draw, here is International Judo Federation Head Sport Director, Mr. Vladimir Barta. Dear President Sanda Chorak, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, dear judo family, we start the draw of Grand Prix Zagreb 2023. So one page of statistics. See a big number of countries, 83, and in total we have 530 athletes. You see the 14 categories with uh, big enough numbers in every everyone. And we start the draw with category woman under 48. Twenty-eight athletes. Draw, please. And uh, 52. <laughs> 33 athletes. Draw, please. Under 57. 36 athletes. Draw, please. Under 63, 63. We have again 36 athletes. Draw, please. Under 70, 30. we have 35 athletes. Attention, Barbara, <laughs> Lara, good luck. Draw, please.
I hope both of you are satisfied. <laughs> Always can be better. It's good luck. We continue under 78. Twenty two athletes. Draw, please. And the last woman. Category plus 78. 23 athletes. Draw, please. Before we start, man, thank you again to our team, Corina, Igor, and uh, all the team for pre preparing and presenting the draw. Thank you again. We start 60. Mm -hmm. 44 athletes. Draw, please. And uh, 66. Fifty one athlete. Draw, please. And uh, 73. 51 athlete. Draw, please. Under 90 kilo.
49 athletes. Draw, please. Under 100. Thirty-eight athletes. Draw, please. And the last category, plus 100. We have 32 athletes. Draw, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Barta. Follow us on social media using the hashtag, hashtag Judo Zagreb. On our new platform, judotv.com, you can watch all the athletes in action. And remember, you can join Neil Adams and myself at the end of each day for our roundup program, Golden Score. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the IGF to thank all of our guests, and in particular, once more, Barbara and Lara for attending. Good luck for you. That concludes the draw and wish all athletes and all involved in the event good luck. Thank you.